we we were in there until about 4 a.m. Uh, hiding in cabinets in the dark and hearing everything unfold. You know, my vision went black. Like, I was like, what's going on? But my vision went black. I know I can hear everything, but I can, like, cannot see. And when I come to, to reality, it was because my friend was, like, checking on me, like, hey, we need to run, we need to to move. The first responders were, are, like, the most beautiful thing I think I could have seen <laughs> ever. Up, up until that point, you know what I mean? I'm, it it was like I could breathe again. You almost that whole two hours we were in there, we just didn't, we didn't breathe, you know? I know for the beginning that I need the counseling, but I was like, in part like afraid. Actually, I remember being very reluctant to seek help. And I was driving home and I saw the sign for the Florida Mental Health Association. And um, I said, well, there's my sign. And so that's maybe that's the one that I should call. And I felt good about it. And it was just like, boom, boom, boom. And I had an appointment, but I was deeply hurt by losing my job and losing my home on top of my friends and, you know, some of my family. And um, I definitely needed someone who knew what they were doing to help me. It's been a very rough year. And uh, I feel like I'm finally starting to come around thanks to the help of my counselor. I'm just now back, like technically the guy that I used to be before June 12th. I, I mean, I owe everything to it and I'm still I'm still in it and I, I'm continuing to go and um, it's just been, I guess, one of my biggest blessings. I have hope now because of that treatment that I have on counseling. I believe that it's a new day, a new opportunity. To those out there who are unsure about seeking help, it's affordable, you know? Even if you have nothing, it's affordable. Um, so I encourage you to eventually make sure that it's a possibility and an option for you.